contactless doorbell. It's often said that necessity breeds creativity, and during a global pandemic, such words have proved truer than ever. We have realized that the common doorbell could be a potential surface transmission point for any virus. The old model of doorbell uses the typical push button we are all familiar with. This new model relies on an IR distance sensor to detect a hand or foot in front of the door. These are the components which are needed in this project. Triple 5 timer IC, 8 pin IC base, 2 10 kilo ohm resistors, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 470 ohm resistor, 110 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, 1 red LED, 1 IR pair, 1 buzzer, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off rocker switch, 1 0 PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor, to protect the LED from high current and voltage. Triple 5 is a timer IC. It can work in three different modes, monostable, astable, and bistable mode. In this project, we are using it in monostable mode. Initially, pin number 2 of IC is connected with the positive supply voltage through a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Output of IC is currently low, so buzzer is in off state. This is the symbol of IR LED, and this is the symbol of photodiode. When we put our finger in front of IR pair, then IR rays falls on the photodiode, so photodiode turns on, and connects the pin number 2 of IC with the ground. Now pin number 2 of IC, gets a low signal, and triple 5 IC, gives a high pulse at its pin number 3. We have connected a buzzer, at the output pin of IC. Buzzer will not beep continuously, it will on for a predefined time, and then it will turn off. Timing of output pulse, can be changed, by changing the value of this resistor. On time of the buzzer, can also be increased or decreased, by changing the value of this capacitor. On time of output pulse, can be calculated, by using this formula. These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Use a permanent marker, to make the outline on the PCB. Use the tweezer, to make the hole in the PCB. Use the cutter, to cut the plastic. Now insert the switch, inside the hole. Now we will solder, the 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. This resistor, will protect the LED, from high voltage and current. Now we will solder, the power indication LED, on the PCB. Now we will move further, and mount the other components. Now we will solder, 470 ohm resistor, on the PCB. Now we will solder, the IR LED, on the PCB. Remember, that the flat side is negative, and round side is positive. Sleeves are used, to avoid the shorting between its two terminals. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor.
Now we will solder the photodiode. Photodiode is used in reversed bias mode. Connect the flat side of the diode with 10 kilo ohm resistor and connect the round side with the ground. Sleeves are used to avoid the shorting between its two terminals. Now we will solder the 8 pin IC base. Connect pin number 8 of IC base with positive supply voltage. Short pin number 8 of IC base with pin number 4. Short the pin number 6 of IC base with pin number 7. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now connect pin number 1 of IC base with the ground terminal. Connect pin number 2 of IC base with the negative terminal of photodiode. This is a buzzer. Buzzer has two terminals, positive and negative. It has a sign of plus on its top. It shows that this side is positive, and the other side is negative. Now we will solder the PP3 battery connector. Connect the red wire with the positive terminal, and black wire with the negative terminal in the circuit. Now we will plug the triple 5 timer IC on the 8 pin IC base. Now give the power supply to the circuit and check its functioning. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number. 7007957715 to buy the items used in this project you can visit our website www.eraltech.com you can give us the orders on whatsapp also thank you so much